So for this video I'm using yarn in size 2. I'm using two different colors and the crochet hook in size 3.75 millimeters. So I'll start by making a slip knot and then I'll chain 8. Now on the last chain from the hook I'll make a slip stitch. And now I'll chain three and right here through this loop I'll make four double crochet cluster. This one already counts as one. Now I'll chain six. Then right here through this loop I'll make four double crochet cluster. I'll chain six. And again, right here through this loop I'll make four double crochet cluster. I'll chain six. Then right here through this loop I'll make four double crochet cluster. And now that I have four sets of four double crochet clusters, I will chain six. Then right here through this chain, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row one. Now right here through the six chain loop, I'll make a slip stitch. I'll chain three. Then right here through this loop I'll make four double crochet cluster. This one already counts as one. And now I'll chain five. Then right here through this loop I'll make four double crochet cluster. Again now I'll chain five. Then right here through this next six chain loop I'll make four double crochet cluster. Chain five. Through the same six chain loop I'll make four double crochet cluster. chain 5 through the next 6 chain loop I'll make 4 double crochet cluster chain 5 then through the same 6 chain loop I'll make 4 double crochet cluster chain 5 through the next 6 chain loop I'll make 4 double crochet cluster chain 5 through the same 6 chain loop I'll make 4 double crochet cluster And now to finish off row 2 I'll chain 5 then right here through this next chain I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row 2.
and now for all three right here through this five chain loop I'll make a slip stitch I'll chain three then right here through that five chain loop I'll make four double crochet cluster chain four through that same five chain loop I'll make four double crochet cluster chain four through the next five chain loop I'll make four double crochet cluster chain four then through that same five chain loop I'll make four double crochet cluster chain four through the next five chain loop I'll make four double crochet cluster chain four through that same five chain loop I'll make four double crochet cluster so we repeat this throughout row three so now to finish off row three I'll chain four then right here through this cluster chain I'll make one slip stitch so this completes row three now for row four right here through this four chain loop I'll make a slip stitch then I will chain three and right here through this four chain loop I'll make four double crochet cluster I'll chain three then right there through that same four chain loop I'll make four double crochet cluster chain three in the next four chain loop I'll make four double crochet cluster chain three through the same four chain loop I'll make four double crochet cluster chain three through the next four chain loop I'll make four double crochet cluster chain three through that same four chain loop I'll make four double crochet cluster so we repeat this throughout row four so now to finish off row four I'll chain three then right there through that double crochet cluster I'll make a slip stitch so this completes row four and now for row five right here through this three chain loop I'll make a slip stitch I'll chain three then right here through this three chain loop I'll make four double crochet cluster I'll chain two then right here through this next three chain loop I'll make four double crochet cluster chain two through the next three chain loop I'll make four double crochet cluster chain two through the next three chain loop I'll make four double crochet cluster chain three through the next three chain loop I'll make four double crochet cluster so we repeat this throughout row five so now to finish off row five I'll chain two 
then right here through this double crochet cluster chain I'll make a slip stitch so this completes row 5 and now for row 6 I'll chain 3 then right here through this next chain I'll make one double crochet through this two chain space I'll make one double crochet right here through this next chain I'll make one double crochet through the next chain one double crochet then right here through this two chain loop I'll make one double crochet in the next chain I'll make one double crochet in the next chain one double crochet through this two chain loop I'll make one double crochet through the next chain I'll make one double crochet through the next chain one double crochet then right here through this two chain loop I'll make one double crochet through the next chain I'll make one double crochet through the next chain one double crochet and then right here through this two chain loop I'll make one double crochet so we repeat this throughout row six so now to finish off row six right here through this two chain loop I'll make one double crochet then right here through this third chain I'll make a slip stitch so this completes row six now I'll chain one and I'll cut this yarn and now I'll use yarn in color B then right here through that same chain I will chain three then through the next chain I'll make one double crochet so now that I have two double crochets I'll chain one and through the next chain I'll make one double crochet in the next chain one double crochet now I'll chain one then through the next chain I'll make one double crochet in the next chain one double crochet I'll chain one in the next chain I'll make one double crochet in the next chain one double crochet chain one in the next chain one double crochet in the next chain one double crochet chain one so we repeat this throughout row seven as you can see we just make two double crochets with chain one and in the next two chains we make two double crochets so as you can see we have one chain in between two double crochets so we have two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. So now to finish off row seven, I will chain one, then right here through this third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. Now I'll chain one and I'll cut this yarn. And now again, I'll go back to yarn A. Then right here through this one chain space, I will chain three and right there I'll make two double crochets now through this next one chain space I'll make one single crochet chain two through the same one chain space I'll make two double crochet in the next one chain space I'll make one single crochet chain two through that same one chain space I'll make two double crochet in the next one chain space I'll make one single crochet chain two through that same one chain space I'll make two double crochet in the next one chain space I'll make one single crochet chain two through that same one chain space I'll make two double crochet In the next one chain space I'll make one single crochet chain two through the same one chain space I'll make two double crochet 
Then in the next one chain space I'll make one single crochet. So we repeat this throughout row 8. So now to finish off row 8 I will chain 2 then right there through that same one chain space I'll make 2 double crochet. Now right here through this next one chain space I'll make a slip stitch. Then I'll chain 1 and I'll cut this yarn. So after we finish this one we'll go on and we'll make two more. So we'll have three identical circles. So after we make three of these circles then see we just lay them flat like that and then we we'll join them here and here. So we're just going to use five of these uh, three double crochet shells. We'll join them together and then same here. Here, as you can see, we have joined five of these um, zigzag shells. One, two, three, four, five. So this is what we have so far. Now let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. So now I have 43 of these zigzag shells. So here I'm going to skip 19 here on the top and then we'll skip 19 at the bottom and then we'll end up with five of these zigzag shells. So I already skipped 19 of these zigzag shells and right here through this 20th zigzag shell I place this uh, stitch marker and then now I'm just going to use this third circle. I'm going to place it right here so then I'll just join these five zigzag shells together because we want them all to, you know, look the same.
So after we join these three circles together, here in the middle we'll end up with 19 of these zigzag shells. So we're going to leave seven on the left and seven on the right. And then we end up with five of these zigzag shells. So here through this eighth chain, counting from the right side, I put a stitch marker. And from the left side again, uh, through the eighth chain, I put a stitch marker. So now we're just going to start working in these two chains. First we'll start with this one. On this circle from the right side, we'll count nine of these zigzag shells and through the ninth zigzag shell I put a stitch marker and then right here same on the left side through the ninth zigzag shell I put a stitch marker. So now we're just gonna make a loop for armholes. Right here through this chain where our stitch marker is I will chain three then right there through that same chain, I'll make six double crochet. So we have six double crochets plus this three chain in the beginning, and that will give us seven double crochets in total. Now I'll turn my work around. And now I'll chain seven. Then right there through that next double crochet chain, I'll make one double crochet. And now we have six double crochets left. So in each of these six double crochets, we make one double crochet. And again, that will give us seven double crochets for this row as well. Again now, I'll turn my work around, I'll chain seven, then right there through this first double crochet chain, I'll make one double crochet. Again now, I have six double crochets left, so I'll make one double crochet in each chain. Again, I'll turn my work around, I'll chain seven. Then through this first double crochet chain, I'll make one double crochet. Again, now we have six double crochet chains left and in each of these double crochet chains, I'll make one double crochet. So as you can see, for each row, we have seven double crochets. So yeah, we repeat that until our stripes, they measure 12 inches. So I had to make 22 rows. I made one on the left and one on the right. So after we finish 22 rows, I'll just chain one. And now I'm going to join this stripe right there where this next stitch mark is. So yeah, we do this from the wrong side. Make sure your stripe is not twisted. I'm going to use a tapestry needle. And then we repeat the same thing for the other side.
So this is what we have so far. You can actually just leave this as it is. You can maybe just make put some like a, a button or a brooch or add some more things. I think I'm gonna just add some tassels and maybe just make a small eye cord or something for here or maybe just a simple foundation chain. So now I'm just going to make some tassels. I'm gonna use both of the yarns that I use for this video. So I'm gonna use two colors together. We continue putting these tassels all the way around until we have 10 zigzag shells on the right and 10 zigzag shells on the left. So we leave 10 on the left and 10 on the right. Now we can put some buttons here, but I don't have any buttons, so I'm just going to make a chain and just make it work. So as usual, I'll start by making a slip knot and then we'll chain 100. So after we chain 100, we just leave a medium sized tail and then we'll cut this yarn. So now we'll skip five of these chains, then we insert our uh, chain right here through the sixth loop. Again here we'll skip five of these shells and through the sixth shell we insert our hook and then we'll wrap this chain around our hook and pull through. And then we just tie it like, uh, like shoelaces, just like this.
So these are the one, two, three, four, five. Oh no! No. Oh my gosh! I just realized that I've made a mistake. <sighs> wow! I can't believe it took so long. All right. <laughs> wow. Um, so remember here on the right side where I made this stripe, I had seven double crochets. See? For each row. But then here for the left stripe. I was trying to finish it faster because, you know, my son is just taking a nap now and I was trying to finish it as fast as I could while he's asleep. And I end up making six double crochets there. I was like, why does this look a little bit different? I mean, it looked the same for, for a while, but then I was like, what? This looks a little bit different. And now when I just start counting these double crochets, I see that I miscounted them. Well, you guys make sure you don't make the same mistake I did. So. I'll correct this later on. So this is how our finished work looks. And if you want your vest to be larger, then you might have to make maybe one or two extra rows for each of these circles. And that's really it. And if you want your sleeves, like your little stripes for the armholes, then if you want them to be like longer or shorter, just as you're making it, you know, keep trying it on and you see and you know until you reach your desired length so you might have to make them shorter or longer you know it's just a uh, personal preference so that is all for today guys and thank you so much for watching